Good morning, it's January 31st. My name is Galit and here is the Galactic News. So welcome, we have a new moon today. Well, in a few hours, but technically uh, late at night today, uh, we're going to have a new moon in Aquarius, 12 degrees Aquarius. And I looked at the chart this morning, I always look at the chart this morning, and I saw that we are having four planets in Capricorn, one planet in uh, Taurus, so that's five planets in Earth signs, two planets in water in Pisces, Jupiter and Neptune, and three planets in air in Aquarius, the Sun, Moon, and Saturn. But there are no planets in fire. And I looked at it and I said, where is the fire? Why don't we have planets in fire in this uh, new moon chart? And then I realized that sometimes a lack of element is speaking louder than anything else, right? When we're lacking something, it always shows something and we can really see something about ourselves. So I saw something about this uh, new moon chart and I think it's lacking fire because we don't need fire at the moment. Fire is that element that is igniting things. It's inspiring us to do things. It's taking a, the leadership role. It is pushing forward. It wants to do something and create something and do it very fast and in a loud voice, those are fires. And we don't need that right now. We actually know what we want. We don't need to ignite our engines. We already did that. And right now we're ready with the plan. What we need now is execution. We need to show up. That's why we have five planets in Earth signs. Earth signs is all about producing results. That's what you want to see. That's what I want to see. Produce results. We already have been doing the initiation of the process. We are actually ready. So that's why the element of fire is missing. However, uh, well, if you have um, planets in any fixed signs, this lunation is taking uh, place at 12 degrees, a fixed sign, Aquarius. So if you have planets in mid sign of any fixed sign, which are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, you guys are being affected more than other signs. And you're being affected in a different way. For Taurus people, this is uh, a last quarter square, uh, square where the lunation takes place. That means you guys have to adjust something in the way you think, in the way you implement at the moment. You have to adjust, let something go in order to create the new. Leos, you are in direct opposition to that lunation. So Leos, something will come into your life whenever we have an opposition. It's something from outside that's coming into our life and having this dynamic of opposition showing us something about ourselves that we need to learn. And if you guys are Scorpio, mid-sign Scorpios, you guys are in a first quarter square. That means you have to take some sort of an action in order to um, leverage on this lunation. And if you're in Aquarius, obviously this is the conjunction. If you have mid, uh, mid degrees of Aquarius, either your sun, moon, ascendant, any planet, you guys are integrating the energies of the new moon and you're having a whole new beginning to that planet that you have in that sign. So you see, each one of us react differently to the energies, but we are all sensitive to the lunation cycle. Humans, as humans, we always have been following the moon. And when we have a new moon, it's always a new opportunity. We don't need a new opportunity right now, as I said, we already know what we want, but we need a surge of energy in order for us to move forward and finally step into those shoes that we were building all along. So happy, happy full uh, new moon and go do what you wanted to do. It's time. It's time to launch your rocket. Good luck on that. I'm sure it will be successful. Enjoy the day. Enjoy this lunation. Enjoy the month and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.